That's right. I'm here on board the U.S. Coast Guard Cutter James right now, and that's cutter, not ship. It's an old-fashioned term referring to a way that a boat cuts through water. And right now, everyone is in high spirits after hearing the Coast Guard Commandant deliver his State of the Coast Guard address. We came here today to signal that we are serious about coming to Charleston. Major plans to turn Charleston into a hub for the Coast Guard. That's the message Admiral Carl Schultz made during Thursday's State of the Coast Guard. I think the footprint here could look like, it will look like five of these national security cutters, maybe a certain number yet to be determined of offshore patrol cutters. I think our total human footprint could almost double to be 2,000 people. This could be one of the largest center gravities of the Coast Guard in the in the coming decade here. And it's a message that's being heard loud and clear by the Coast Guard family. Mark Wilbert, who served for decades, says he's excited about what the future holds. It's really interesting. We were just talking about that on the way over, you know, being on the federal side of the Coast Guard side where you're really part of every community that you're in. And now you come here and you get a chance to give back to the community, be part of it, and, and really, hopefully, in a way, see how we can mesh these two communities together because Coast Guard brings wonderful people into the community and, of course, the whole Charleston region. The whole Charleston County area has stuff to give back to the Coast Guard as well and to offer. But beyond the millions of jobs and trillions of dollars the Coast Guard brings in, that's just part of their duty. Admiral Schultz says they're also focused on helping during humanitarian crises like Hurricane Dorian and fighting the war on drugs. We've got somewhere between 70 and 100,000 drug related deaths, whether that's drug related violence, whether that's medical situations. There is a crisis. In, it, it's all sort of the same amalgamated problem set. What we do is really push the United States border out. So we're interdicting, last year was 208 metric tons. That's about 460,000 pounds of illicit cocaine destined for American streets. The Admiral also honored several Coast Guard men and women during his address for their exemplary service. You can count on us to keep you updated as plans for the expansion move forward. But for now, reporting live on the U.S. Coast Guard Cutter James, I'm Hannah Powers. Count on two.